Hey viewers, today I will explain to you why car wheels sometimes seem to rotate backwards on television. As a reference, I will show you what the effect looks like. As you can see, the movement of the car wheel seems to change direction and speed even though the car is just driving forwards. So, what's causing this illusion then? I will first demonstrate the effect with a simulation and afterwards I will go over some calculations that might help you understand it a little bit better. For this simulation I will use this instead of the wheel. The coaxial circles on the wheel obviously do not contribute to the illusion so I will disregard them. Now if we start rotating we will see that at first the wheel turns faster but at some point the rotation direction will reverse because when the wheel decelerates the wheel is rotating backwards. As you can see, the illusion is the same in the video as in the simulation. So what's causing this effect? To comprehend this effect, you need some information about how a video camera works. It's pretty basic, but I'm going to explain it anyway. A video camera does not record a continuous stream of data like our eyes, but rather a stack of photographs. And when these photographs are close enough together, our brain fills in the blanks. So we think we see a continuous stream of data, but in fact, we're just seeing different images. So how does this stack of photographs cause the wheels to rotate backwards? This has to do with our brain filling in the blanks. Since all five spokes of the car wheel look the same, our brain assumes that the spoke closest to the old position is the same spoke. In reality, the spoke we now see in that spot can just as easily be any of the other four, depending on the speed. Let's do a little calculation. A car wheel is about 50 centimeters or 20 inches in diameter. This means that it has a circumference of pi times d is 157 centimeters. I will continue the rest in centimeters. If you want to do it in inches, you can do it as well. With the speed of a car being between zero and let's say 120 kilometers per hour, or zero to 33.3 meters per second, the wheel rotates at a speed of zero to 21.21 .21 rotations per second. A camera normally shoots 30 frames per second, meaning that there is 0 to 254.5 degrees of rotation between the photos. For the wheel to appear to stand still, the closest spoke after 1 30th of a second must be aligned with the old spoke. This means with five spokes that the rotation is 0 plus 72 times n degrees, with n being an integer. So the wheel will appear to stand still at 0, 72, 144 and 216 degrees of rotation in 1 30th of a second. This correlates with respectively 0, 9.42, 18.84 and 28.26 meters per second or 0, 33.9, 67.8 and 101.7 kilometers per hour. So if the car moves a little slower than these speeds, the wheel will appear to rotate backwards. If it moves a little faster, the wheel will appear to rotate forwards. As an example, here are 70, 72 and 74 degrees of rotation in 1 30th of a second, respectively 32.97, 33.9 and 34.84 kilometers per hour. Just for the fun of it, I decided to put in one of the higher speeds as well. And you will see that the effect looks exactly the same. Obviously, if the frames per second of the camera, the diameter of the wheel or the number of spokes change, the numbers will change, but the effect will still happen. I hope you learned something today and I will see you next time. 